Hello friends, fake emulsification has evolved drastically over last few decades and there has been a tendency to minimize the use of fake emulsification energy inside the chamber to reduce the damage to endothelium and related complications. So friends, we have evolved from four quadrant to stop and chop and then direct chop and now here is the technique where I am not using energy at all. So you can see uh, in this video as I am doing cataract surgery and I am directly working in the viscoexpression mode. So you can see there is no phaco energy being used at all. So I am simply holding the nucleus with the phaco handpiece and I am using a special chopper which I have named equatorial chopping guard. This actually is a chopper which has a slant which uh, makes it easy to slide it under the capsule to reach it till the equator of the nucleus and chop it with the help of phaco handpiece holding the nucleus just with vacuum alone. So this technique is uh, useful in patients with cataract up to grade 2 nuclear sclerosis. All soft cataracts, all grade 1 nuclear sclerotic cataracts, all subcapsular cataracts and up to grade 2 nuclear sclerotic cataract can be done with this technique. So this is the first video I am sharing where I am doing surgery with the left hand and friends because I have developed ambidexterity during covid time by practicing with my left hand. So that has also helped me in improving the maneuverability of my both hands. So you can see this is the surgery where I am doing surgery with the left hand as a dominant hand and I am using second instrument uh, with the right hand. Friends, let me briefly explain you about this chopper also. You can see this chopper is made of steel and at the tip it, is, it has a long tip and the end of chopper is bulbous. You can see there is an angle between the shaft and tip of the chopper which is not 90 degree as we generally notice with most of the choppers. This angle is around 110 degree. So what it does is it uh, creates a slant on the tip of the chopper. So when you go to the periphery for chopping up to the equator of the nucleus, there is no risk of damaging the uh, capsulotomy edge. And this thick tip ensures that there is no perforation of posterior capsule. Equatorial chopping has several advantages as you can see here that I am just simply holding the uh, nucleus with the vacuum alone and the counter traction created by this equatorial chopper uh, helps in chopping the nucleus and if it is soft it also helps in uh, uh, aspiration of uh, nuclear fragments. If cataract is soft uh, up to grade 1 or 2 then you can actually aspirate the whole nucleus. Uh, by feeding the pieces with this chopper. The vacuum you can see here, I have kept the vacuum of 700 plus that is maximum vacuum possible in this Centurion silver machine. You might be feeling that there is a risk of severe surge if we use high vacuum uh, with this FECO handpiece because high vacuum of 700 is generally used with either bimanual or coaxial irrigation aspiration probe. So my friends, in my experience, I have never felt surge serious enough to cause complication. Though there can be mild surge, that surge is not serious enough. And even if there is mild surge, so as you can see, this chopper, which I have named as chopper cum guard, it has a guarding effect. So I intentionally keep this chopper at a slightly lower plane uh, close to the capsule. So even if there is mild surge, the capsule will never get sucked into the FECO probe. This is another such case uh, where I am doing zero power FACO. This is almost grade 1 to grade 2 cataract and you can see uh, it is not difficult to hold the nucleus with the FACO probe in vacuum mode and uh, I am chopping the same way. So as I am calling it vacuum chop with zero power FACO emulsification. So this is uh, this surgery I have uh, increased the speed of video just to cover up whatever I can show in allotted 8 minutes.
Friends, this is the interesting case to emphasize the importance of this zero power vacuum job technique. This is a case with vitreous hemorrhage where there is no glow. Patient has a poor specular count of 1700 and this patient is planned for future vitro retinal surgery by retina specialist. So in a way this surgery is preparatory surgery for the future vitro retinal surgery. So in such case uh, it, there is a very good advantage of this zero power technique because there is no glow. So generally uh, the use of chandelier has been advised which definitely is a very good advantage but because uh, being an anterior segment surgeon uh, no, I don't prefer chandelier for such cases. So I realized that this zero power technique has a special advantage. You can see here because I'm not using uh, FACO power at all so I am keeping the endothelium protected because in this case endothelium is poor with 1700 count and we need coronary to be clear so that surgery can be done as soon as possible after cataract surgery. At the same time because I am not using FACO power so the chances of getting PC rent is minimized. This particular case needs special protection of endothelium because of poor count as well as capsular bag also and posterior capsule because there is no glow. So this technique specially helps in keeping both of them protected. You can notice also that I am using second instrument that is uh, chopper cum guard at a lower plane close to the capsule because endothelium is protected by the fact that I am not using phaco energy and this chopping cum guard is actually close to the posterior capsule. So in case there is surge or I am accidentally close to the capsule, this chopper will protect the capsule from getting trapped into the phaco port. So friends you can see that with poor visibility because of vitreous hemorrhage I am going very smoothly and with a high level of confidence because I am sure that my chopper will be saving the posture capsule and no energy is going to help the vitro retinal surgeon in taking up this case quickly once and whenever he wants. So now last quadrant has been removed and now I am removing epinucleus. Then epinuclear plate also I have pulled by using my chopper and now I am trying to see the glow but you can see there is no slightest sign of glow here. So during uh, irrigation and aspiration of cortex, uh, I am slightly careful but because I have stained the anterior capsule with blue dye, so there is uh, enough visibility of anterior capsule. So I am just going under the capsule, holding the cortical matter and pulling it out. So at, at the end also you can see there is no glow visible and now I am doing hydro implantation of foldable acrylic IOL and IOL is implanted. So after successful in the bag implantation of IOL, I am doing viscoaspiration, whatever has been left in the ankles. And now I am doing hydration of the boats. And this is first day post-op image. You can see cornea is absolutely clear without any edema.